Welcome everybody to How Fast Will It Go and today we're dealing with the 1954 Mercedes-Benz 300SL Coupe and this is 1,270 horsepower, 901 pounds feet of torque from its 3.4 litre turbocharged inline 6 engine now weighs 2,636 pounds, has all wheel drive and it can only 0 16 2.98 seconds and 0 to 105.569 seconds so yeah, this is one of the oldest cars that we've had on this series. There's not many that have been taken out from the 50s, that's for sure. But this was obviously well renowned for being one of the fastest cars in its day. So, um, yeah, speed isn't, you know, completely out of the realm of its comfort zone. But obviously we're going to be getting a lot faster than it could ever do originally. We have a lot more in the way of power. We've got about 1,000 horsepower more than originally in, in its original form. So, yeah, but it's an aerodynamic car. Older cars are typically easier to upgrade into getting a high top speed so this should hopefully be a pretty quick car so let's get out there and see what it can do and hopefully the rain won't um, have too many issues for this car but obviously it is on slicks which are obviously not the best kind of a uh, tyre to have in the rain but all-wheel drive system should help and the fact that it's got other handling upgrades as well so that's 210 220 30, still gaining speed pretty rapidly. There's 240. 50. So this inline six was the most powerful engine we could put in this car. But it also kind of fit the original car's spec of having an inline six as well, so kind of fit. So there's 260. Slipping and sliding. Lost a lot of speed there, unfortunately, but should gain that back. So yeah, 260 was has been our peak so far, so let's see if we can get any more than that. And we are approaching the downhill section, which is where we gain speed, but as per usual, it's about whether or not we can maintain it after the fact. It's 260 again. 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, briefly. Maintain it a little bit again. So 266 is all we're gonna get. Yeah, we were blipping 267, but we weren't consistent in holding it as it was passing between 267 and 266. So, yeah, I'm gonna say 266, but it's still incredibly quick for a car of this kind of age. And uh, yeah, it's faster than the uh, Cooper Tavascon concept from the previous episode which is obviously a uh, much more modern car and yeah we're able to match the likes of the Bentley Turbo R Porsche 911 GT3 from 2021 we've beaten the Ford Supervan, ATS GT, Lamborghini Espada 400 GT and the Mazda 323 GTR but we are slightly behind the Toyota GR Supra, the Porsche 911 Sport Classic and the Eagle Speedster and we're way off the fastest Mercedes that we've had on this series which has been what is it? Oh yeah, the 300 SLR, which is basically the race version of this, which managed 282 miles an hour. But for a full production car from the 50s, this is a pretty uh, damn good uh, car in terms of its top speed. Mostly handled the uh, extra power and extra acceleration and the speed really rather well. Obviously at that one instance um, where we're going around a corner and we lost about 15 miles an hour or so. But I'm going to put that down to the rain more than anything. So uh, yeah, but nonetheless, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.